Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do CUDA Software Algebra 1 Radical Equations Part 2. In number 1, as always, we want to make sure our radical term is isolated. It is, so we move to proceed to get rid of our square root by squaring both sides. The square root knocked off the root, and so 110 minus n equals n squared. Now we end up with a quadratic equation. To solve quadratic equations, you move all your terms to one side so that one side is just zero. We decide to move all the terms to the side of the term with the second degree. So move the n by adding n. So add n. It's gone here. Move the 110 by subtracting 110 subtract 110. So it's gone here. So you've moved everything from the left side, it's 0. Equals n squared plus n minus 110. It was 110 here. Now, it's a trinomial that can be factored. So n times n gives me that n squared. And you have to think of two numbers to multiply to be negative 110. 11 and 10 would multiply to be 110. This is a negative 110. So one of them has to be negative. I need to add up to a positive 1. So positive 11 minus 10 would add up to positive 1. Now we are ready to solve. Using the zero product property, n has to be negative 11 or positive 10. We plug them back in to see if it works. I already know negative 11 will not work because if I plugged it into the n here, a square root will never equal a negative answer, so we reject it. Now we try the 10. So plug it in here, square root of 110 minus the 10, does it equal 10? Simplifying the left side, that would be square root of 100 equals 10, and that is true. Square root of 100 is 10. So we accept the 10. Let's try number 3. Once again, we square both sides to knock off the root. So 30 minus x equals x squared. You want to move all the terms to the side of the square. So add x, add x, it's gone. Subtract 30, subtract 30, it's gone. So 0 is left. You have x squared plus x minus 30. Now we factor x times x is x squared. I need two numbers that multiply to be negative 30, but add up to positive 1. So positive 6 and negative 5 would multiply to be negative 30, and they add up to positive 1. Solving my equation, x is either negative 6 or positive 5. I know it cannot be negative 6, because a square root will not equal a negative number. So let's try if the 5 works. Square root of 30 minus 5, does it equal 5? 30 minus 5 is 25. Yes, root of 25 is 5. We accept the answer. Let's try another one. How about we skip 5 and try 7? So square both sides, I would get 4n equals n squared. Move everything to the side of the square, so subtract 4n, subtract 4n. This is now 0 on the left side, and the right side is n squared minus 4n. This is not a trinomial like the previous problems, but we can factor out an n, leaving one more n minus 4. 
So solving for n, n is either 0 because of that n or 4. Let's plug in a 0 to see if it works. 4 times 0 is 0, and square root of 0 is 0. 0 works. Let's plug in the 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Root of 16 is 4. They both work. So there are no extraneous roots. Let's try number 11. So we'll square both sides. So b squared equals negative 4 plus 4b. Move every term to the side of the squared term. So subtract 4b, subtract 4b, gone. Add 4, add 4, gone. So everything is gone from the right side. The left side, let's rearrange them. b squared minus 4b plus 4. That is a trinomial that can be factored. b times b is b squared. Think of two numbers that will multiply to be positive 4, but add up to negative 4. Negative 2 and negative 2 would work. They multiply to be positive 4, and they add up to negative 4. Solving for b, b equals 2. And there's only one solution. Let's plug it back in to see if it works. Plug 2 into b, I will have 2 equals square root of negative 4 plus 4 times 2. Well, negative 4 plus 8 is 4. That is true, so we accept the answer. So let's try some more interesting problems. Let's try 23. First, you have to isolate the radical by subtracting 4. So the 4s are gone, and you have isolated your radical. Negative 3m plus 10 equals m minus 4. Those are not like terms. They cannot be combined. But now this is two terms. It's a binomial. So when you're trying to square both sides, you have to put a parenthesis here. The left side, the square, knocked off the root. So you have negative 3m plus 10 equals. Now on the right side, when you square a binomial, you will get a trinomial. The first term is the square of m. The middle term, you multiply these two terms, which is negative 4m and you have to times it by 2. So that's negative 8m. And then the last term, you square the negative 4 to get positive 16. I will make a video soon to help you square binomials to get trinomials. So as always, we move all the terms to the side of the squared term. So add 3m, add 3m gone. Subtract 10, subtract 10, gone. So zeros on the left side. Let's add like terms on the right. You still have m squared. Negative 8m plus 3m is negative 5m. 16 minus 10 is 6. We're going to factor that trinomial. So m times m is m squared. Think of two numbers to multiply to be positive 6, but add up to negative 5. And negative 3, negative 2 should work. They multiply to be positive 6, and they add up to 5, negative 5. Solving for m, it equals 3 or 2. Let's plug it back into the original and see if it works. If I plug 3 here, I would get negative 9. Negative 9 plus 10 
is 1. Root of 1 is 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 does not equal 3. That's what we plugged in. So that did not work. We call it an extraneous root. Let's plug in the 2. So negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 plus 10 is 4. Root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. And 6 does not equal 2. So we reject both of them. So in this case, no solution. Let's try 24. You again have a group of two terms. We call it a binomial. So square both sides. When you square a binomial, you get a trinomial. So square the first term x. The middle term, you multiply the x and the negative 5 to get negative 5x. Always multiply that by 2. So that's negative 10x. And then you square the negative 5 to get positive 25. On the right side, the square knocked off the root. So it's simply x plus 1. Move all your terms to the left side. So minus x minus 1. Right side is now a 0. Left side, combine like terms, negative 10x and negative 1x is negative 11x. 25 minus 1 is 24. We factor that. x times x is x squared. Think of two numbers that multiply to be positive 24 but add up to negative 11. Negative 8 and negative 3 would work. They multiply to negative positive 24 and add up to negative 11. Solving, x equals to 8 or 3. Let's plug it back to the original and see if it works. So plug in 8. 8 minus 5 is 3. Does it equal 8 plus 1 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. That worked. Let's plug in the 3. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. We know that a square root will not give a negative answer, so 3 is extraneous. We accept the 8. We'll try one more. Let's add the a. So, to isolate my radical. So, radical 7a minus 54 equals. These are not like terms, so they stay separate. This is a binomial. I need to put a parenthesis around it before I square. Square knocked off the root. I have 7a minus 54 equals square a binomial get a trinomial so it's a square minus 12a because you want to double that plus 36 move everything to one side minus 7a add 54 everything cancelled out on the left it's zero add like terms Negative 12 and negative 7 is negative 19a. Add that would be a positive 90. Factor it. a times a is a squared. 10 times 9 is 90. It has to be double negative to multiply to be a positive 90 and have to add up to negative 19. Solving a equals 10 or 9. Let's plug them back in to see if it works. Putting 10 in here, 7 times 10 is 70, minus 54 is 16. Root of 16 is 4, minus 10. That would be a negative 6, equals negative 6. That worked. 
Let's plug in the 9. 7 times 9 is 54. Now, 7 times 9 is 63. 63 minus 54 is 9. And root of 9 is 3. 3 minus the A, which we said was 9, is negative 6. That worked as well. So we accept both answers. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to see more videos on a different math topic, please leave a message.